Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. I'm making Henry some toast, but I need a sip of coffee, so I poured it. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> There's just some mornings where, you know, you really, really need a sip. <laughs> or two. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just waiting on his toast, and we'll go have a coffee together. Oh, yep, that's good. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Don't want it crispy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Order up. Peanut butter and jam on toast. Yummy, yummy. Here you go. Um, soon to be birthday boy. What? Are you vlogging? Yes, I am. Are you vlogging? See? Say, say two more days. It's my birthday. Two more days, my birthday. <laughs> what are you vlogging? Am I vlogging? Am I vlogging? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Pause it. Okay, so two more days, right? Pause it. Pause it. Why? You guys say something? Yeah. Okay. All right, who is ready for a cup of coffee? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Probably a few cups of coffee. Yeah. Well, it looks nice out. Nice and sunny. That's good. Um, yeah, so two more days, he turns eight. I don't know where I'm. The time went but yeah so the past two days we have been busy just cleaning uh cleaning like you know stuff that had to get cleaned for the longest time like the toy area uh, that got cleaned and we swiffered the floors dusted around the tv wiped down the entertainment center and just did that kind of cleaning and just you know decluttered and the toy area needed to be clean and I haven't cleaned it because the probably the last time I got cleaned was back in March because in April rolled around and we were doing online learning and we did online learning for the rest of the school year so the toy area got put on the back burner but, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be to clean up so yeah so that got done and that just feels good to get that kind of cleaning done especially because it's been on my list you know of to do my, my to-do list, yeah. Got my Chip, Chip and Dale mug. This is another obsession of mine, finding cute mugs. Yes, just like with finding VHS tapes, finding cute mugs, you know, and, you know, anything that's Disney related, you know, um, books, you know, just, you know. I have a long list of obsessions, uh, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want more? Okay, yeah, a very long list of the stuff I love, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's what we did. And just, yeah, this past two days been cleaning. Uh, yeah, so it feels good to get that stuff done, yeah. Uh, because, like, when April came, it was, like, online learning. My world pretty much revolved around online learning, <laughs> you know. Yeah, nothing like that kind of cleaning didn't get done. How many more slices? Two? Two? And then I love the jam on it. You want yeah. more jam on it? Yeah. I put a lot. That wasn't enough? No. Okay. I'm going to put a couple more toast in. It's good. All right. They have their toast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could probably make toast in my sleep. I make so much toast every morning. Toast and peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, with the cleaning, because we're having um, just a few family over Sunday for a party and just trying to get ahead of the game. Yeah, and that way I'm not running around like a crazy lady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> not yet anyways. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> so, okay, YouTube. Let's talk about YouTube. Now, some of you may know that YouTube has been acting up with, like, taking comments away. They will be there, and then poof, they're gone. You know who's here. <laughs> Miss Lois. <laughs> um, I've had comments disappeared, even once that I replied hard it to reply back to. I've had comments, like, like those ones disappear, and then comments that I didn't get a chance to heart a comment disappear. Well, yesterday, I used the YouTube Studio app on my phone, and I will get back to comments, you know, that, like, majority of the time on my phone through the YouTube app, and, or through the 
um, YouTube studio app, okay, so one or the other, right? Um, and if I'm, if I'm on the computer, and I will get to them on the back, you know, check my comments on the computer also, but the majority of the time, I do it on my phone, okay. Yesterday, I go check my comments. There's a whole bunch of comments, and I mean, going back from a month up to a whole year that were not hearted, were not, reply, I, didn't, I didn't reply back. And a lot of them, I did not recognize. Now, I've heard of YouTube doing this, like just hiding comments. And I was like, what the heck? So if you got a lot of notifications Hello. from me, <laughs> yes, um, that's why. Because if there were some where it was like, you know, like I don't remember half of these. Um, no, so I, I don't know, like, if some, maybe I did heart it, and, like, YouTube took the heart away. I don't know. It's just so weird because, well, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of them I did not remember, you know, so I'm pretty sure that YouTube decided to hide those comments on me. So, just to let you know, you know, if I don't heart or comment, like, one of the two, if I don't do one, or the other, if I don't do both uh, to your comment, then it's YouTube acting up. It's either them making the comments just disappear or hiding them from me because it was like really, really weird. Okay. He always wants me to pause it when he has something to tell me. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, just in case some of you may have gotten a lot of notifications from me. <laughs> because that was the only way to like get rid of like the comments because I was kind of getting confused between the newest comments and comments that YouTube thought were new but they were not they were the they were like between a month and a year old like yeah so they were definitely hiding comments on me and that's not very nice YouTube YouTube yeah YouTube <laughs> so I don't know if anybody else of my YouTuber friends has had that experience um yeah, yeah it was just really weird yeah, you can see um, um, your decorations. Let's see. Let's see. This was where I got Toys R Us. Uh, I, I vlogged it, so that's why I didn't really show it. But, you know, just in case anybody didn't watch that vlog, it was a fun shopping vlog. And that one. And, and you gotta get mold. No, that's it. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, I got paper plates in that at Walmart. Let me see that one. Okay. This one was the very last one. And it's just a display. And I grabbed it. And I was so like, you know, yeah. Very last one. Why? So, well, because Mandalorian is a popular theme for a birthday party this year. Yoda. Okay. Baby Yoda. I mean, I know that's not really his name, but... <laughs> Mandalorian? Yeah. What is your name? Mandalorian. No, then what? Last Yeah, so that was what went on yesterday. All of a sudden I had all these comments and I was like a little bit um, overwhelming, you know, because it was, you know, from a long, like almost like, like up to a year. Like, what the heck, YouTube? Yeah. I like the kitchen. Have you seen those ones? All right, so I, I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and get this day going. And they're on the counter. Yeah, on the counter. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, he turns two. Two. <laughs> he turns two. <laughs> He turns eight in two days. <laughs> uh, is that how it works? We can just say, oh, pick whatever number we want, you know? Oh, we can like age backwards, you know, you get up to a certain number and then you can just start going backwards. Although I don't really want to revisit my teen years. <laughs> no. Oh, the awkward years. Oh my God, that's funny. Oh. 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, yeah, we'll see what we get up to today. And uh, you know, I do want to go somewhere. I just have to wait for the hubby to wake up. And yeah, hey. I have to wake up too. Hey, and we will do that. Yeah. yeah, you do, baby Yoda. You're pretty good. You did that. When did you do that? Last year, I think. Around Christmas time. Yeah. It was on my fridge. <laughs> All right, I am all dressed. I'm set, ready to go on our little adventure. I got my Stitch t-shirt. I even have my fanny pack. I have everything in here, but I almost forgot something very important that we kind of need, you know, to start the car. <laughs> Keys. <laughs> yeah, so um, the hubby just went and he got gas, so I wouldn't have to make an extra stop. So now we can go and have some fun. And yeah, very excited. Um, my fanny pack. Um, I bought this at the Doll Dollarama probably, probably like in March maybe. And then we went into our third lockdown. I think when was it? in April, beginning of April. And then it's like, okay, well, I bought it specifically for yard sale season, so I would just have what I need for that outing when we go yard sailing. Hint, hint, yard. Yard sailing, and um, but I put it in my closet and I totally forgot about it, which always happens because it's out of sight, out of mind, right? And and then it's like I've been yard selling for the past couple of months. I could have used this fanny pack because it is nice, and my my mini back purse, my my, my mini backpack purse won't get in the way. Um, and I have you know, have my hands free, and I can put you guys in my purse if I have to. So yeah, I mean my hands were free with my mini backpack, but sometimes, you know it will kind of get kind of get in the way and that's the only downside of that yeah um but everything is in the fanny pack and i don't have to you know you know take off my mini backpack to get to the the money the money 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 so <laughs> mr Krabs, money 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 yeah so it's like you know i can get to it yeah all right let's go all right guys we have officially arrived i am super super excited we are at one of the best yard sales and I have missed this yard sale. It is a huge charity yard sale and they haven't had it for the past couple years because of, you know what, of stinking COVID. So this is the yard sale that tops any other yard sale. Yes, so let's mask up and put our keys in our fanny pack because we're that cool <laughs> remember like wearing fanny packs in like grade school i used to wear them when like we had like field trips yeah <laughs> they're still cool okay so keys are in the fanny pack and i'm gonna put my mask on and yeah uh, oh my gosh <sighs> like there's stuff everywhere you won't you won't believe it
in the words of Joey the Blossom. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you see what I was talking about? Oh my goodness. I walked out with two small boxes and a couple things in my hand. I had to have somebody help me carry my loop to the car. Um, wow. That's, wow. I mean, yeah. Now I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> um, I looked like probably like at least three times just to double check and like I'm sure there's probably like, stuff I missed but um I did feel comfortable with what I got I'm happy with what I got I spent did I tell you $25 so um I think for what I got I got a few things to resell for what I got I think 25 bucks was a pretty good price well she's she said 20 at first so I'm like oh you know how about 25 um because it's charity you know I, it goes for a good cause i think it goes towards um girls in africa so and they have it every year but obviously since COVID, they haven't had it for a couple years they kind of had it last year but it was really really downsized really really downsized um nothing compared to this um this is my kind of yard sale um these are the yard sales i love <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm like a kid in a toy store. <laughs> it's like, let me go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we go home and I will show you what I got. Uh, whoa, I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh my goodness, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy, yeah. Oh my goodness. I, can, I just can't believe all the stuff that they have. I was kind of getting overwhelmed with all the Christmas stuff, but I didn't get anything Christmas though. Are you shocked? I am too. <laughs> no, no, there was really nothing that I needed or was like, oh my gosh, I have to grab. And you for sure know the first thing I bought, right? Because you saw me grab it. I was like, Yoink. I cannot believe somebody gave that away, but it's mine now. Oh gosh. <laughs> that's what I mean. 25 bucks for all this is worth it. That's that snow globe, musical snow globe. Woo. Oh, that was definitely more than 25 bucks alone. <laughs> definitely, those are pricey. <laughs> and that's for me to keep, not reselling that, nope. So I eventually made it back home and when I did go over at home, well first of all, the last clip that you guys saw was from Dollar Tree and I wanted to see if they had any more fall items, which they did, so that's exciting. Uh, it's not what I'm waiting for, <laughs> I'm waiting for the signage to come in and um, certain decor pieces to come in, so, but you know, we're heading into the right direction, hopefully they continue. And I'll uh, put more stuff out as it comes, you know, in. Yeah, because I'm very eager to see. Because, like, I remember last year, was it last fall? No, I think it was Easter. It was Easter time. We I didn't see our Dollar Tree get any signs in. But, um, and that could have been what was going on. Maybe they didn't get the shipment in. Um, but, um fall time we did get a good selection but if they're you know, you know they're going to be cute because Dollar Tree sign is, signage is always cute and adorable and you know you know it's going to fly off the hooks and go you know poof gone so um, I'm going to definitely keep a close eye but that's good that I'm starting to get some stuff in not the stuff I'm looking for but it's a start um, so yeah that's why I, I went there quick and I came back home because I was pretty much in and out at Dollar Tree came back home 
and I just realized I have to grab that <laughs> to show you guys. Uh, came back home and I was taking everything on the car, put it in the house, right in the front where the mudroom is, and I'm going through everything and I'm making sure okay, everything's here. And then I'm realizing, I'm like, oh no, 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 no. There was something very important missing. And I had to go back to the yard sale. And believe me, when you see it, I will tell you what item that I had to go back for. You would have gone back for it too. And um, it was there. We found it. So, um, but it was like one of those moments, you know. Okay. So the first thing you saw me grab, and you probably noticed in the clip that it had a couple of broken pieces. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was a little too excited, you know. My excitement uh, got the best out of me. Um, but that's okay because I would have bought it even with the broken pieces because I think it's still a good find. And um, yeah, because when I brought it home, I took it out of the box and I was like, oh, okay, that's why the person got rid of it. Okay. Um, but I think it's still adorable. You know, you got Mickey and Minnie in the snow globe. Um, Cinderella right up front and Pinocchio now one domination is missing his head this one right here and then you also have half of a fairy <laughs> Tinkerbell is missing her upper half um, but that's okay yeah um, now it does play when you wish upon a star so I won't play it does work though but I won't play it or else I'll get copyright um, but yeah but see, it's still worth it. Like, look at, look how beautiful. Yeah, I still would have bought it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because these are expensive. Even like, you know, with the pieces missing, you could probably still get a good, good amount for it. Yeah. But yeah, I still, yeah, um, I still would have grabbed it. You know. Yeah. All right. So that is for me to keep, of course. And it's just, yeah. <laughs> I know, but you know when you get excited, and like you, you don't. You look past the imperfections. You really do, and you know, you come home and then you realize, oh wait, oh I think he has a part of his foot um, broken too, yeah, right there. So, but that's okay. You know, I, I watched 101 Dalmatians last night because I'm watching the Disney movies in order, and that was next up on my list. It was made in 1961. And there's a Domination pup that reminds me of Casey because this Domination pup is always hungry and his, his name is Rolly. And it's like, yep, yeah, that's my Casey. I have one of those, <laughs> you know, because I could just feed him, you know. And then like an hour later, he's hungry and he goes, I'm hungry. And then the Domination pup would, would say, I'm hungry, mother. I'm hungry, you know, something like that. And it's like, yeah, that's my Casey. <laughs> you know, he does that too. Yeah, you, you could just feed him a, a full meal and like an hour later, you know, he's hungry. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, you know, because I watched 101 Domination last, last night and this had 101 Domination's, it was meant to be. Yeah, okay, so that was my first find. Um, now, I was really, really keeping an eye out for VHS tapes, which you know I I grabbed some. Um, I, I did not grab The Sixth Sense, but that movie is one of my favorite movies from M. Night. And, uh, you're hungry. See, there we go. What, what did I just say? <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> Um, what, what, what's that? I will feed them. Um, I think he wants peanut butter. I'll give him a peanut butter sandwich. Um, okay. M. Night. Shit. I'm not, I'm going to butcher it, but you know what I mean. That's one of my favorite movies, The Sixth Sense. And I still remember when that movie first came out and how that was like a really big deal. One sec. Okay. Henry had to tell me something. I guess he does want a peanut butter sandwich. So I'll get to that right after I'm done this little part so that if I don't finish talking about it I will forget um and when that movie came out how that was like you know that was like super scary you know I see dead people you know and I remember watching it I, my mom and I we were at my aunt's and my other aunt was there and of course it was nighttime of course and the room was dark and we were watching it and we were all on the edge of our seats you know jumping you know yeah um what? but I, I like movies like that where because like you know they have a memory attached to them um but yeah, it's not, that's movie? still that's a classic um the sixth sense 
you can't watch it yet. No. <laughs> I don't need you up all night. <laughs> no. Um, I gotta make a peanut butter sandwich. I'll be right back. All right, Casey has his peanut butter sandwich, and I, so back to the yard sale, I found the VHS tapes, and I was hoping to find more Disney ones, but that's okay, these ones were good. Okay, so the first one I found, it's empty because I came home and the boys watched it right away, um, Spongebob Halloween, and it's funny because I was just thinking that I, I have to keep an eye out for, you know, Halloween ones and Christmas ones. Now Christmas, I did find two Christmas ones. No, actually I found three Christmas ones. And I have one Christmas one already, Beauty and the Beast Christmas. Very good one to start the Christmas collection for VHS. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have any Halloween, so I want to keep a lookout for Halloween ones. And I want to keep an eye out for Rugrats. So that would be a good one to get too. Yeah, so this one is in the VCR right now. <laughs> okay. And then I got Dr. Doolittle. I'm not sure if they'll watch this right now, maybe in a few years. I'm not sure if it's, you know, they would be interested in this yet, but this is a good one to have. And this one is more for me. The boys are not going to, you know, um, watch this one, but I can't help it. Clueless. Oh my gosh, I grabbed it. Yeah, it goes with my mug. <laughs> yeah. So, and I, and I have been wanting to watch this, so now I get to watch it on VHS. Yes. Um. I could have gone a lot more for VHS. I could have, I, you know, but I um, only have so much, so much room right now. So, um, but I'm happy with what I got, and I'm very happy with this one because this one I remember watching when I was a kid. I remember renting this one. So yeah, <laughs> um, an American Tale, Five Goes West, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> yeah, that is a classic. And this is also a classic, Beethoven. I used to have this one. Why aren't you closing? Why aren't you going in there? How rude. That's it. Yeah, there we go, okay. All right, for the Christmas ones. Okay, so these ones were in the barn where all the books and like CDs, DVDs were, and clothing. And then they had some where the electronic stuff was. So, I grabbed Toy Story, Toy Story. <laughs> oh, I think it's because I saw the word, the word toy. Um, Veggie Tales, the toy that saves Christmas. <laughs> I used to have this one too. Yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. <laughs> that is a good movie. I, think, I watch it so much. I think we have it on DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I grabbed the Santa Claus. Oh yeah, that's a good movie too. That is a good movie, I agree. And then we have it on VHS. And <clears throat> I was very happy to find this one, okay? Super happy. Are you ready? The, 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 the Grinch! <laughs> very happy to have this one. We have it on DVD, but I'm thrilled to have it on VHS. Okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, the Grinch. Very happy to get that. Um, I'm going to put these with my rest of my VHS looped stash over there. And I counted all my VHS tapes. I have 35 altogether. <laughs> Not including these ones. I have eight here, I believe. Yeah, eight. Yeah, I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, seven. I have seven. Why do I think I had eight? So I'm, I'm getting by village. I think I got eight from my village. I'm getting that mixed up. Oh no, I do have eight. I do have eight. Okay, <laughs> because of this one. Um, yeah, eight. So, but the 30 that I have, the, I mean, did I say 30? Yeah, 35. Five of those came from yard sales. The 30 came from value village. But it doesn't look like 35. It doesn't, no. So, I'm just adding to my collection. So, very happy about that. Okay, so let me put these over here. Okay, and Henry wants me to get more SpongeBob on VHS. I'm like, okay, I'll keep one out for it. Okay. All right. Uh, now I grabbed quite a few items to resell. This is one of them. Okay, Care Bear, um, Bedtime Bear, and he was from 2002. Yeah, 2002. Um, so the battery pack is right up the tushy here. Um, not a very nice, appropriate area, but, <laughs> you know, 
uh, yeah, but it, no pun intended. Sorry, <laughs> no, but <laughs> uh, he sits on a shelf because of that. So it's very hard. To, yeah, it's like he can sit. Woo! It's very hard. I have a box here, so let me just move that. Here, there we go. We'll do it this way. So yeah, there we go. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, so it's just very awkward area to put the battery pack because you know that's going to be hard to get out and you know not to be inappropriate but you know what I mean like why why, why not the back <laughs> you know oh uh, I know it's just and I'm hoping he works I haven't had the best luck with plush that is electronic so yeah oh actually I think we're okay because it, it looks like it can just stay in there you don't have to take it out so that's perfect yeah, you can just unscrew it there. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it has an, um, an off and off switch, I think. Yeah. So, perfect. So, I'll have to test him out. I, I don't really, I don't remember these ones. So, yeah. 2002. So, he'll be to resell. I love it how his ears, you know, that there's a cutout for his ears, <laughs> his nightcap, that's cute. Okay, and also to resell is um, Play School Radio alarm set. Um, she, plotted it, she plotted it in for me, and um, like it lit up, so we'll see if like the radio works. Uh, it does have the battery um, area right here, so you know, power goes out put your batteries in it and then that area looks good there's a Dursel <laughs> Dursel in it okay so let me put the box right there yeah so um I'll, I'll test that out but yeah it should work they go for about $37 on eBay oh it has on and off too oh vol volume limiter on or off hour minute on the bottom oh, okay Cool. Okay, so yeah, I'll play with that later. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen one of these, so this was the first for me. Yeah, play school. I didn't know they made alarm clocks back in the day. I'm not sure. Is there a year on it? 1994. Okay, so that's to read so same with the Care Bear. Okay, and I found this. Okay, so this was in the bag, and it was stapled. Now, I'm not sure if this is the original bag that it came in and somebody just stapled it shut. I'm not 100% sure, but um, it came with the, the book, project book. It's a knitting machine. Screams the 70s? Yes, it does. And you are right, 1974. So it looks like an excellent condition. <laughs> Works. And the fact that it comes with the project book is a bonus. Um, look at all the fun crafts you can do, all the knitting projects you can do. So yeah, really cool. So I scooped that up. All right, so that would be to resell. Um, what should I do next? Okay, yes, I have that too. Okay, and this would be to resell also. I did quite, I found like six things to resell, I think. Um, this was pretty cool. Uh, I'm thinking somebody hand carved this, painted it, stained it. Uh, it's a picture. And like the mountains look like that's been painted on. This part, the wood looks like it's been stained. You have a dog, you even have a dog house. Like this tree is like, you have one tree, okay, one tree right here and this tree has been cut. Um, it's beautiful. Like it looks like it was handmade. Um, the back, it has like a little notch. So yeah, definitely handmade. Uh, yeah. I mean that that looked like it took some some work. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen anything like that before. So definitely unique. Okay, and I also found, I found this before at Goodwill, it's a different one, um, another friends trivia game, I know I have a lot of friends fans out there, I'm one of them, I love friends, um, funny thing is, when I was looking at this, guess what, it came from Value Village, <laughs> it was $4.99, uh, but I did take a quick peek in the 
the box. Everything is there. You have the game board. Very cool. The only the only room missing is um, Central Perk, the coffee shop. Yeah, you have Joey's place, Ross's place, Monica's place, and Phoebe's place. So it came with like all the game pieces. The instructions were still there. Everything was still there. The game pad, and there's still like a good chunk of the paper here, and all of the cards, the quit, like look at, look at all that. Woo! That's not even all of them. Look, there's more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So these are the the questions. I probably would not. I, I have to rewatch Friends. It's on my list. I need to rewatch that soon. I know. There's a lot of shows I want to watch, and it's just like there's not enough time <laughs> to watch everything I want to watch. Yeah. Okay, okay, here, here, here's a question. I know this one. Where did Joey keep his book, The Shining? Anybody remember? <laughs> the freezer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's an easy one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. So that was, that was funny because it's like when I was looking at it. Oh, this is good skin from Valley Village. <laughs> oh. Okay, so found that. I'm not sure hmm, what. I don't know that. I wasn't asking you. Like, rude, Lexa. Um, let me see. If we're, where is the date? 2002. Ah, see? Same year as a Care Bear. Huh. Okay. Alright, so that, and I got a few more things. Okay. Who remembers if you're if you um, are Canadian and you have a Shoppers Drug Mart, and you know before Shoppers Drug Mart became Shoppers Drug Mart, you remember when Shoppers Drug Mart was Big V? I used to love shopping at Big V. I mean, those were the stores. Like I want those kind of stores back again. You know, Byways, Sellers, Sears. <laughs> you know, um, but who remembers when you would get your film developed? Remember, remember film when a camera before everything went digital <laughs> um, you got a cooler bag yeah <laughs> um, remember the ones that were coca-cola I think everybody like along with this one you knew somebody who had one because everybody had one so it is in great condition so I'm gonna keep this one for like when we go out and about you know maybe we go to the park or you know uh, go for a little picnic you know it's in great condition. There's no rips or tears. I just have to clean it out. Um, there is no date though. I tried looking for one earlier, but there is, yeah, no date. Um, but I just thought, oh my gosh, that's a blast from the past. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember getting film developed, you know, and getting it back like a week later and then you would be surprised, you know, and then sometimes your pictures didn't turn out, sometimes they were blurry, sometimes they were dark, and if you, if you accidentally, and I did this a lot, if you accidentally opened up the back of your camera and your film wasn't finished, or you did it like, you know, well yeah, I think it, when it wasn't finished, like you maybe had like a few extra and you accidentally opened it well there goes your film your pictures were ruined those were hard days when that happened yes oh my gosh I remember that happened I think I went on a field trip and I don't know how I opened it I accidentally opened it I think it was by accident and it popped open you know and sometimes they were easily popped open if, they, if you were you know playing with it just you seeing know, a hole in your hand and you know and playing with the buttons like it sometimes the back would accidentally open um and boy do you regret that moment because there goes all your pictures yes i know well yeah about it that happened a few times yeah but when it did happen and you got the pictures back from from like you know shoppers drug mart or wherever um yeah, it was always nice, you know, it was always a, a surprise, and sometimes they turned, like, most of the time they turned out, but sometimes they didn't, you know, I know, because nobody knew how to take a picture back in the 80s and 90s, I know, because a lot, a lot of times they would be, like, you know, not focused, or be, like, blurry, yeah. <laughs> oh. 
those were the good days though yeah <laughs> okay and then another thing I found was I really do want to go back to the 90s yeah okay and this was an awesome find this was Playmobil and it looks like it's it's all here um like look at that uh, like I mean this was a score because it is the gas station and oh, why are you sticking there we go okay and it was there are different ones it's this one right here yeah. okay there we go that's better this one right here so you got like the what is this one race car one yeah race car one and you have this one and this one so um it is this one right here in the box and it is awesome because it still has the stickers the stickers like what <laughs> so this was not played with uh-huh and the the toys the mini the figurines they're still in the bag and some parts are in the bag. Look at you have a dog. You got a bicycle. Um, here is the yellow car. Here is the green car. And parts to the gas station. You know, uh, like everything, pretty much everything is not like the little pieces, anyways, is not open in a bag. The only loose pieces are the big pieces. But everything else is in a bag. The hats in a bag. So this leads me to believe everything is here. The only thing missing missing is the box that it came in. So and it has um, two dollars off. Woohoo! Um, and the date on this is 1987. Oh, and it has a little, a little pamphlet. Woo! Yeah, that thing. Yeah, so it looks like everything is here. But got the wheels. Uh, yeah. But that's awesome. Yeah, so that was a good find. I love it. And this was, this was the last thing I found because this yard sale, like I said, they have it every year, but they haven't had it for the past two years because of, of COVID. Um, and but it is huge. I mean, I looked at everything at least three times, and there's probably stuff I did miss, but I'm very happy with what I found. Um, and I, all this cost me $25, and I think it's well, like it's worth yeah, $25. So that's, that's what I was going to offer, and it's, and it's for charity. I like she was she was giving me the total because that's always a nervous part when they add everything up and they look at everything that you have and it's like you know this is like um jackpot <laughs> and they look at everything and they're just saying oh, please give me a good number please give me a good number and she said like 20 I'm like oh okay but then I thought okay well how about 25 because um it's a charity gift but I'm gonna give a few extra so um yeah oh. um but yeah, like, this is just amazing. So yeah, they have it every year, and when you first get there, they have hand ties. I almost forgot, I almost didn't see the hand ties, because I'm, like, too excited looking at everything else, you know. But they had hand ties that are attached to a string, attached to um, a, a, um, a, like, easel is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> and so you just spray your hands, you know, and go on, you know, happy, happy hunting. And... Um, yeah, I was just really happy. Like, that that was my happy place. I could have spent all day there, you know, and it's like, okay, see ya, mom's gone, you know, see ya. You won't see me for the rest of the day. Bye now, <laughs> you know, um, because I was probably there for at least a good hour because I made sure to look at everything, you know, like, at least a few times because there's stuff that, you know, you can easily miss because, I mean, when I was looking at, um, the Christmas stuff, all, like, the Halloween, Easter stuff, oh my gosh, I was so overwhelmed, I'm like, well, this is a lot, but I didn't see anything, um, like, they had, there was nice decorations, but, 
uh, <clears throat> some of it wasn't my style and you know some of it was like well I really don't need that you know it wasn't anything like oh my gosh you know I have to get that you know um, yeah but it was it was like I don't know where they get their stuff but who donates it to them but well that's a lot of stuff and like they had like you know tent areas so those areas I think had limits so like the the garage area that had a limit of four people the so that one I had to go back to because there were like I think there were four people maybe even five people in there when I walked by so I went back to that area and looked um the barn area the limit was 12 because that was like a huge area and I think there was another tent area and that was like four people also so yeah it was just it was really well organized and laid out but boy it made it was just like a lot of stuff but boy I, I was definitely in a happy place oh I was I was on a yard sale high <laughs> yeah okay so the very last item I found and that yard sale is all weekend um so um and I think it was last weekend too, because usually they do two weekends in a row. And I didn't, I didn't go out last weekend, but Monday when I was out and I was going down that road and I saw a sign, and I was like, oh, you know, okay, I, I knew, because I, I, I knew that sign, I knew that sign, because like they, they use the same sign every year, so I recognized that sign and. I was like, oh, and uh, but this was Monday, so it was like, oh, okay, but um, they do two weekends in a row, so, but I'm like, oh, darn, I missed it, but that's okay, you know, they, they still have lots of stuff, so, um, I don't, I'm not sure what they do with it after, because they probably have a lot left over, but I don't know, maybe, maybe they store it somewhere for the following year, I don't know, but, um, yeah, <laughs> it is, like, a lot of stuff, and, like, overwhelming, but boy, you just breathe, you know, go, and <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> yeah all right so the one item I found okay and I had to go back for and you would go back for this too and when the lady found it because I explained to her oh I, I was just here 15 minutes ago and there was you know um something that um I bought but I must have dropped it and I'm wondering if like you know maybe you picked it up you know and um she's asking another girl and the girl that actually cashed me out and and um and then the other lady because they're all they're all volunteers and she went because she's like oh well what, where did you cash cash out because they had like two ends of the area and i'm like oh they get right over there so she goes over there where i was standing and she picked up what i dropped and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, thank you. And she was like, oh, those are worth going back for. And I'm like, oh, no, and I hear, I'm thinking, oh, you're darn tooting. Like, it is worth going back for. Um, yes. <laughs> um, look at these. Mickey Mouse, Santa hat, earrings for Christmas. I'm like, look how cute. Oh, oh see? <laughs> is it Christmas yet? You know, I'm, and we just did Christmas in July. Yeah. Oh, okay. Next Christmas in July, I will definitely wear these. Uh, but I want to wear them. Yeah, it's a Christmas. <laughs> and they're cute. Like, I just have to put backings on them. I'm going to clean them first, of course. But, like, adorable. Like, uh huh. I was so. So now you, now you know why. Because when I when I came home and brought everything in. And I was looking through everything, and they were like a, a plastic bag. They were in this, and they were um, three dollars. Um, and I'm looking through everything, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't see them. I don't see them. Okay, I'm going to panic, you know. And it's like, where are they? And I go look in the car. They're not there. So I go straight back, you know, and I go back to the yard sale. And I'm like, I'm so relieved that they were still there. That I dropped them by the cash because I wasn't sure because before that I was at the toy area, so it would have been either at a toy area somewhere between the toy area and the cash so but I'm so happy I'm like thank you <laughs> you know now I can relax and breathe yeah because they're just super adorable I mean oh yeah <laughs> it made my day it was a, a Disney kind of day <laughs> for yard sailing yeah uh okay so I'm very thankful that she found them and I'm like oh my gosh they're super cute oh yeah, but I'm happy with everything I found. And there was something else I would have loved to have grabbed, but um, if you're Canadian and you guys remember the big comfy couch with Molly and Lunette, anybody? <laughs> I used to babysit kids who would always watch that show 
and there was a Lunette doll, and they do sell, Lunette and Molly do sell, but with clothing, and this Lunette was El Nico. <laughs> so, yeah, they don't really sell without their clothing. Hello. <laughs> so, otherwise, I would have scooped her up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I'm always on a lookout for them. Yeah, that was such a classic Canadian series. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, um, thanks for watching. This is, uh, my vlog is probably long enough because we went yard selling on a Thursday. Can you believe that? On a Thursday. That is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking it's like Friday. My days are going to be mixed up now. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, but it really was fine. So, I don't know. My vlog is probably already long enough. And, yeah. So, I'm just going to end the vlog right here. I'm going to go bippy boppy boo Put everything away. Find room for it. Because let me tell you. The back area over there where, like, I have extra storage. And, like, the kids' snacks. They can't get to their snacks right now. Um, but I have the freezer, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Guess what has to get cleaned out next? <laughs> the back area. <laughs> because it's the stuff is piled up on top of each other. It's disorganized and it's been on my list, but it's just been hard to get to and, um, clean. Yeah. But now that it's like, okay, I have the toy area done, the living room is done, and we are, and we're gonna probably get done to like next week after Henry's birthday slash birthday party. Um, yeah, because we're, we're pretty much well underway ahead for that. I might just flip over the floors one more time, just around here, and I'll and clean the bathroom too, obviously, and I think I need to wash the kitchen floor. So, but we are well ahead, and like, I'm happy I got the cleaning done for the toy area, because that really, really needed to be done. Um, but that also needs to be done in the bathroom, so that's next on my cleaning to-do list, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's hard to um get anything back there. Yeah. <laughs> if you want something, bring a shovel <laughs> and dig for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh I wish I was like can't tell you, like with online learning, like my, my world revolved my world oh yeah, my world revolved around online learning and everything else was like got put to the back burner, I'll get to you when I get to you. You know, the only other stuff that I got done because I was busy, you know, making sure that they were doing the work and that and projects and the only other stuff that I got done would, would be like, you know, your laundry and dishes and cleaning the bathroom, but like cleaning like that, like really cleaning, like organizing, just didn't get done. Um, but that is next on my list and we will tackle that next week. Yeah. All right guys, so thanks for watching. I really, truly do appreciate it. If this is your first time watching, and you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I'm happy to have you. Welcome to my YouTube family. We can have fun together. I had fun going yard stealing today. It was super fun. And um, yeah, <laughs> I want to go back, you know. <laughs> it's like a machine to go back, you know. <laughs> I think mean, there is stuff I probably did miss, but you know, that's okay. I, I, what, what I found, I think I did pretty good. Yeah, I did. All right, so um, I'll see you tomorrow because I have to go to No Frills and the grocery shopping once again. And I have to buy, I have to make a list first of all. Um, but I have to buy food for the party, so we will do that tomorrow. So that's tomorrow's plan, so um, I'll take you guys along with me. So yeah, take care, be blessed, and like I said, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys feel a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and share all that good stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. We'll have a cup of coffee, because we need energy before we go grocery shopping. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll go grocery shopping and then put everything away. And yeah. And then I have a lot to do tomorrow night too because I have to get somebody's present ready. I have to wrap it and I gotta decorate. Oh, and I gotta do a cake. When am I gonna put the cake in? When am I doing that? Maybe bake it Saturday before we, because he wants to go Dairy Queen before we go Dairy Queen. Make it Saturday. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I know, like, it's, I, I'm, I'm ahead of, I'm ahead for cleaning and that, but, um, prepping, no, I have to wait, um, tomorrow night. And I'll probably will bake the cake. I have to see what kind of cake he wants. Chocolate, golden, vanilla, um, because I will need to get two boxes. I do have some, I have two chocolate fudge, but if he doesn't want chocolate fudge, um, so yeah, I gotta find out, trying to get him to decide what kind of cake he wants. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we'll do that. So I have to get a couple of the boxes. Yeah. Okay, so, I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright, so, I'm gonna go boopity boppy boo, and hopefully everything puts itself away. 
Yeah, I know. In my dreams, right? <laughs> That's the only way everything puts itself away. Yeah, in my dreams. Yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Be blessed. And I'll see you. See you tomorrow. Bye.